Nigeria, as a member of the United Nations, has adopted the conventions and recommendations of the International Labour Organization. In addition to the above, Nigeria has her own labor law as spelt out in the laws of the Federation of Nigeria. However, it's time to set our understanding of MSME businesses within the context of the regulations that control and direct their activities. With me in the studio to enable us have an understanding of key issues at stake is an elite panel consisting of Baba Tunde Faleke, the Deputy Director and Regional Coordinator Southwest Nigerian Export Promotion Council. So, Theresa Alimi, founder of Lush Original, Tokumbo Akonde, and Simi, and Simi Onobajo of Wavdak. All right, let's uh, get the background statistics before we delve into the conversation. All right, Yosola, well, thank you very much for joining me in the studio. Let me start with uh, Tokumbo. Would you say MSMEs are well informed about the vital regulatory policies that should guide their businesses? Yeah, um, essentially, from my understanding of it, from a tax perspective, mm -hmm. uh, efforts have been deployed in the past through various government agencies to actually aggregate all these SMEs and provide opportunities for them to address the issue of understanding of what is required for you to formalize your business. And I think um, here it has not been 100% successful, but I think we have started along that line and uh, NASME, NASIMA and all mm -hmm. those other bodies have performed great wonders in that area. And uh, the last time I, uh, we spoke to Prince Obabiako, whatever is the president of NASME, he was able to give us an understanding of the number of people and number of businesses mm -hmm. that have been, they've been able to register under their program, and it's quite substantial, and uh, the number is actually, uh, actually enormous for the size of our population of over 200 million. So if we are talking about close to about 10 million SMEs that have been registered under one body or the other, mm -hmm. and I think we're in the right path. We are not yet there, but I think we're on the right path. Well, Robert, would you like to share your thoughts on this too? Uh, well, I think that, that's, that's the correct one, that uh, I mean, the SMEs are quite aware of the regulations. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we are come from the Great Provision Council. We do a lot, that before you export, there are things you must do. Uh, if you want to register with us, you must have a limited liability company. Mm -hmm. They are conscious of that. Though, I mean, that you don't have to also be a limited liability company. You could be a cooperative. You can come together. You could also do NGO. So in terms of advocacy, I think a lot is in there for people to understand the regulations and the regulatory I mean, system, knowing what to do and how to do it. Because without proper regulations, honestly, we will not get it right. So I understand very well that everybody is conscious of that. Because you want to uh, uh, to play at the general level, there mm -hmm. are regulations. It's an issue of regulations mm -hmm. which you must comply with. Do stay with us. We'll take a quick break and we'll be back shortly. <laughs> 